Hey, my name is Dan Steffens. I'm a certified podiatrist from Modern Dynamic Health. And today I'm going to teach you how to put on a custom knee brace. So as you can see, this knee brace uh, has some labels on it um, that, that mark which straps they go on first. So we, for our ACL strapping sequence, what we want to do is put this strap on first, and then it goes two, three, four in the front, and five in the back. Okay. So essentially what we're going to do is undo all the straps first. I typically like to keep number five done up so that this floating pad doesn't uh, come loose. Once it comes loose, it's very confusing to put on, but we'll show you another video how to do that as well. So essentially, what you want to do is put your leg right through this brace, pull it right up on the knee. And I know I said number one's down here, it's just labeled number one, but I always just put this fat strap on first. It's going to hold it into position. From that point, I align the brace. So the middle of the condyles, so the middle right here, should be aligned with the top part of the patella. So anywhere from the top half, because we're actually grabbing the femoral heads of the knee, which is right here, okay? So let's just align this brace. Let's do a horizontal line right across the front, and it should be aligned with that top half of the patella. Perfect. Next is number one, which is right down here. So this one comes right across the front, and it comes through that clamp and pulls nice and tight. Number two is up at the very top. Now we're working our way down from number two. So we go two, three, four, and then five. Okay, so number two comes around the back here. Then it pulls nice and tight. If the straps are too short, you can always lengthen them. So by lengthening them, you just peel that off. And then it can essentially adjust that way to give you a little bit more extra room. And you just slap that guy back on. And then you pull it nice and tight. So we've done that fat strap, we've done number one, and we've done number two. Now let's just double check to make sure nothing shifted. Sometimes when we do this number two up, it can shift the strap or shift the condyles down. So let's just make sure that's in position. It's not too far forward. It should be right at that midline of the knee, which it is. So it looks great from my point of view. So now let's continue on and do number three. So that comes right around the back as well. And then now we're back to number four, which is this first one we did, did up at the very start. So we're just going to retighten that one. And then we're going to bring this strap right through here and go right over top. And now lastly is number five at the very back of the leg right here. We've kind of kept that one done up the whole time just so that fat strap doesn't come loose. Now we're just going to retighten. Again, double check, make sure the condyles are aligned at the top half of the patella and they're not too far forward or too far back. If you see any flaps sticking out, that means they're too far forward.